So welcome to the final lecture in the on-page optimization section of this course. By now your web page is already extremely well optimized for the search engines, but I wanted to share with you three more very simple and effective ways to give your web page that final SEO boost and put you out in front of competitors. So the first of these tips is to interlink between your pages. Essentially, that this means that when you publish a new post or a new page, you should link back to the other pages on your website. To give an example of this, let's have a quick look at Wikipedia to see how they interlink between their pages. So returning to an example we saw before, this is the Wikipedia page for drone. And as you can see, it links off to all other pages unmanned aerial vehicle for example and in this page again it links off to the other pages that it has that link you know are referenced in this particular page so the reason that we want to interlink between our pages is really because it helps with our search engine rankings so say for example we have authority on one page which really means that we have a lot of external links from around the internet pointing to it, showing that the content is great. Well, if that page is then linked to other pages on our site, a, a, a little bit of that authority is going to be passed on to the other pages through those links. So essentially, you're helping the other pages on your website if you link to them across your site. So really, the action here then is to add two to five keyword rich links to your older posts whenever you publish a new one. So to tie that piece of information about interlinking back into the example that we've been working through in this section, you can see here that I've added in uh, a link back to my keyword research post um, and you can see that I've used what they call the anchor text. This is just the text uh, in which the link is really contained it's keyword rich so keyword research there um, and if we have a look at the link as well I've selected that it opens the link in a new window that really enables people to stay on the page that they're reading and open the page in a different tab so essentially you're not bringing them away from your particular page so we've looked at interlinking between your pages. Now what we want to look at another very simple thing you can do to increase your SEO, which is to add outgoing links to your pages. So essentially this is in your content. What you want to do is drop in a couple of links to authority sites within your niche. The reason that we want to do this is because it shows Google that we're in good company with good authority sites and that we're a hub of quality info. So what you need to remember is that you don't want to link to competitor sites that are trying to rank for the same keywords as you. Otherwise, you're just going to be giving them a free backlink, which is going to push them up the search results. So really, you want to link to authority sites that are related to your the topic that you're focusing on but not direct to competitors and roughly what you want to be doing is adding two to four outgoing links per thousand words. So to get an example of outgoing links and how to use them let's return to my URL optimization post and you can see here that I've added in a section underscores versus dashes in URLs and I say here that Mac Cuts gives a definitive answer on whether you are underscores versus dashes in URLs are best for SEO. So this is the outgoing link that I'm doing and I'm linking it off to an article written by Matt Cutts um, which really has high authority because he's the guy who's essentially the face of Google search and there's been a lot of views and shares etc for this article. So uh, as you can see I've linked it off the anchor text underscores versus dashes in URLs that's the title of the post as well so it's not directly competing with my keyword which is URL optimization but it's very closely related. So the final tip in this lecture 
is just really that you should get social sharing buttons on your page and um, it's not such a huge factor for SEO but it is a growing one but really more importantly it's for bringing traffic to your site and making people find your page if you put so much work into it and done all these optimizations you want to make sure as well that people can share it out across the social networks so the um, plugin that I would recommend for WordPress is called Dig Dig. Um, you may have seen this before. So this is what it looks like once you get it set up and on a blog and it's completely free and kind of follows you around the article which I think is good for social sharing. So there you go, you can go to bufferapp.com forward slash dig dig and download and install it for your WordPress site. So that really concludes the on-page optimization section of the course. I really hope you've enjoyed it and learnt a lot and now understand the anatomy of a perfectly optimized page for SEO. So in the next section, let's move on to link building and building authority around our keywords. This is where the real magic happens for SEO and the thing that's really going to push us high in the search engine results.